Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, kids. This is your night, sir. We are solving Pearson EDXL International Level, A Level, Pure Max 1, Exercise 6A. And what is the question that we are solving? I've been given a question, three. A plane flies from airport A on a bearing of 40 degree, 420 kilometers. And then on a bearing of 130 degree, 450 kilometers. Calculate the distance of the plane from the airport. Whenever you are having a question of bearing, there's a small trick which I will tell you. Okay, what you need to do is just draw this. Okay, that one. Okay, and This one. one second, okay, and this one, <clears throat> and this, and this one. If you make this, now the concept will become very clear to you how to solve and what to do. Okay, be with me for some time. Your concept of bearing will be very, very clear. Let's look at this now. I'm here. I'm traveling at this distance. I'm reaching over here. Now look at this angle. Makes sense. 40 degree. Then after once I reach over here, I'm going down over here. I'm being asked to find what is this distance. I've been asked to I've been asked to find this distance. It forms a triangle. Very good. Very right. I, I I'm right now when I'm learning in uh, year 12. I have been taught cosine rule. I'm going to use that. How do I use it and how do I get this? Now look at this particular angle. Can you tell me something about this angle? A parallel line and a transversal. What is this? Nothing else but called as alternate angle. And what is alternate angle? They are equal. Am I right? So let me just use this particular part in this. So what do I do? I write, okay, I get this as 40 degree, this angle as 40 degree. Now, can you tell me something about, let me erase this line, okay? Can you tell me something about this angle? What is this total angle? It's a linear pair. I know this angle. Can I find this angle? 180 minus 130. What do I get? 50 degree. Okay. So let me even write this over here. So I have got this angle as 50 degree. This angle as 50 degree. And what is that? I have got this angle as 40 degree. What does 40 plus 50 makes it? It makes it to 90 degree. Now, what is that I have got? I have got a right angle triangle. Am I right? I have got a right angle triangle where 
this is 90 this is 90 i have been given what is this this is 120 and what is okay so this is 150 and this is 120 i can very well use pythagoras theorem to solve but here i'm not going to use pythagoras theorem i'm going to use the cosine hope you have understood what i am talking about bearing whenever you get a bearing question kids whenever you get a bearing question what you really need to do is that you got a point you got a point here and you got a point here okay all what you need to do is that draw this And then the whole of this lesson will become very simple for you. You're traveling from here to here, then you're traveling from here to here, and then what are you finding? You're trying to find this. The concept will become very, very clear. And whenever you're learning about bearing, remember that the angle that you see is clockwise. It is clockwise, and it is clockwise. Remember that. That's something which is very important. Okay. Hope I'm able to explain you about the bearing part. Now let us look at the solution. So I came to know that I can, I have got this angle as 90 degree. I can use my cosine rule. All right. So let's see. Now the balance is alternate angle. I get Adding this, I can use Pythagoras or I can use the cosine rule. Let me use the cosine rule. What is the cosine rule telling me? C square is equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cos C. If I substitute cos of 90, what is cos of 90? 0. So that means I'm going to get this as 0. Balances mathematics. Okay. So, the distance of the plane from the airport is 192 kilometer. And there is one very important word which I am using, three significant figure. Hope you have understood this. Okay. We will continue solving this exercise on a series of video. Hope share it across with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.